Good morning, Brain Colored Cougars. Today is Tuesday, October 6th. There is a Model UN meeting this Friday after school in room 461 in the Red Hallway. First meeting for Health and Humanity Club is next Tuesday, October 13th at 3 p.m. on Zoom. The, cl the club's main goal is to raise awareness and provide support to those that are less fortunate in Collier County. By helping those who are struggling in the community, you can earn volunteer hours. To join the meeting, either download the Zoom app or search up the Zoom website. From there, click on Join Meeting and put the information provided on the flyer. For more information and details, follow the Instagram at Health and Humanity Club. The first DECA meeting of the year is this Wednesday after school in the Innovation Lab. Come see what DECA is all about. Congratulations to the students who participated in the council election. The freshman president is Liesl Earhart and Anya Joshi is the vice president. Sophomore president is Victoria Poff and Skylar Greenstein is the vice president. Junior president is Maya Baker. Robert Rowe is the vice president. Senior president is Hannah Page with Emily Levine as vice president. Congratulations Cougars. Underclassmen pictures are being taken on campus on Friday, October 9th by Leonard Studios. Your English teachers have picture forms for you to use uh, to order copies of your photos. If you are interested in joining the Kids Can Club or are already a fellow member, please give us the, a follow on our new Twitter page, at KidsCan20, where we will post future updates on information regarding the club. Girls basketball conditioning is Tuesday at 5 p.m., Wednesday at 7 p.m., and Saturday at 2 p.m. Livestream of sporting events is working. You can watch all our sporting events virtually and show your support. Click the link on the BCHS website. When you get there, you will have, an, have to create an account and it will be free. Sorry. October 30th is the date that seniors need to have their photos taken by in order to be pictured in the yearbook. Letters Photography has provided a list of times and dates for seniors to schedule their pictures in the Fort Myers studio. Seniors must go online to the website on the board or call this number to schedule an appointment. Walk-ins are not allowed due to COVID procedures. Here's a college reminder. There will be two Barron Collier virtual college visits on Wednesday. Florida Southern College at 3 p.m. and the University of Miami at 3.30 p.m. Check the College and Career Corner on the BC website under Guidance or email your counselor for the virtual link. National Honor Society membership forms are due no later than Wednesday, October 7th. The membership forms can be found on the National Honor Society page of the BCHS website. Go to Activities, select Clubs, and then select National Honor Society. Please see Ms. Joji in room 420 or email this email with any questions. Also, National Honor Society members can receive volunteer hours for helping with the scoreboard at volleyball games. Contact Ms. Joji for details. JSA is meeting tomorrow during all lunches in the Media Center. Be sure to bring your $5 or $15 check so you can attend. Stay tuned for a video of Mr. Bremsa. Flu can be very serious. A flu vaccine can keep you from getting sick with flu, helping protect you, your loved ones, and the moments that matter most. Everyone six months and older should get the best available flu protection, a flu vaccine, every year. Hashtag fight flu. Learn more at cdc.gov flu. Good morning, BC Nation. How are we doing today? Mr. Bremseth here with a little bit of update and uh, a little video that the district made I want to share with you. So first of all, we're a little over a month into school. And one thing I want to say more than anything is thank you and congratulations. Uh, students, you've done a phenomenal job at following our protocols, doing everything that we've been asking you to do. It's been great to have you on campus. You've come with a positive attitude a can-do way of doing things, um, and only together as we do this, um, are we going to keep moving forward uh, with, with school in person and uh, providing the opportunities that we can to have as much of a normal year as possible. So again, I just want to say thank you for doing that. Unfortunately, we did have some students that have had to been sent home for quarantine, 
And a lot of questions revolve around that. What is close contact? What does it mean? Why am I being sent home? I wore my mask. I did everything that I was supposed to do. And we completely understand that. And it is not something that we want to do or care to do is to make anyone have to stay home from school. So the district created a little video that just uh, we can play for you today that kind of defines what close contact is and really what it means for you and your responsibility. The biggest thing that I can reassure or, or say to you is, you know, what I'd like to just remember these protocols that we have at place at school, we should try to follow those protocols when we're not in school because that's what's going to keep us here and that's what's going to keep this thing rolling in the right direction. So again, thank you for everything that you've done and enjoy the video for today. The following video is for educational purposes only. The students portrayed are actors who have agreed to participate voluntarily in order to explain health scenarios relating to COVID-19. I'm 16. I'm 18. I'm 13. I'm a junior. I'm a senior. I'm in middle school. I'm a son. I'm a daughter. I'm a close contact. What's a close contact? Think COVID-19, who needs to stay home. I was within six feet of someone who tested positive for at least 15 minutes. If the health department determines you're a close contact, you need to quarantine to keep the virus from spreading. How many days are we talking? 14 days. You can keep up with the classes by using the computer the school assigned you and logging into Canvas at home. By the way, the definition of a close contact doesn't change, even if you're wearing your mask the whole time. And that's coming straight from the Centers for Disease Control. You know, the CDC. So what can we do? To minimize the spread of COVID. Stay home if you're sick. Avoid hanging out in groups. Even when you're not in school, wear a mask around your friends. When you're with your friends, use the same precautions we use in school. Wear a mask and socially distance as much as possible. I was wearing my mask in school and still needed to quarantine for 14 days because I was a close contact. So why wear a mask at all? Because it's smart. It's about safety. My mask protects you. Your mask protects me. So why wear a mask in class? Because if someone tests positive, it reduces the number of students who would need to quarantine. And even if someone isn't at school, it doesn't mean they necessarily have COVID. Right, and people miss school for all kinds of reasons. Besides, being a close contact, needing to quarantine, or even having COVID isn't something to be ashamed of. Being out of school for these reasons helps us all stay safe. When I had to quarantine, I stayed on track to graduate by learning at home. With so much out of our control in the world. Let's focus on what we can control. Let's work together to keep ourselves and each other healthy. That's a wrap for the BCTV 